What's up guys? Welcome back to Makay. Today we will see how to create a river water base with a more realistic effect using only GSW products. With the appropriate putty in ratio 1 to 1, I will create the rocks helping us with a little water to work it better and not make stick to the fingers. The light rocks that you have seen are rocks left from my old job. With sculpture tool, such as metal spatulas or silicon tip brush, I shape my rocks. Let's create small rocks and place them. Here is the final results. As you see, with the remaining putty, I create useful rocks for future works. With Green Stuff World Racing Fish, I select two fish for creation of my shin that I will call the Last Sup. With bean in glue, I fix the sand on the rest of the sea base. For the branch, I will use old roots. Here is the final result. With masking tape, I create the exact sides for the plastic that will contain the resin. Now I primerize it everything with brush. Here is my color palette. I want to recreate the bottom of an Amazon River 
with turbid water. Initially, all painting is wet on wet. Always use our bristle brush for stippling. Here is the tonal base. adding warm brown tone as a glaze. Time for more melt light. Increase the depth of the shade. Create a bit of texture on the fishes with pure white. Starting from magenta and gradually adding yellow, I give volumes and line to the fish. Reinforce the shadow by creating a purplish tone, adding blue. Here the results. For the base I use a mix of ink and mogany color to enchant the effect of the wood. Here the results. I will use a pet bottle to shape my base and chan acrylic glue to fix it at the base.
With the help of the elastic bands and clamps, I will fix everything. Here, the UV resin and its lamp. I add the ink to the resin and mixing well. Let's pour it. With lighter, I eliminate some bubbles. Now we start to harden it with UV. I eliminate the plastic and clean the base. I want to recreate the feeling of river flowing and I will use GSW Splash Gel. Here is the final results. Sending excess resin and repainting the base. After everything has dried up, here is the final results. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys, let me know in the comments what you would like to see in the future, share, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification. I wish you only the best from a cave.